فويل للذين يكتبون الكتاب بايديهم ثم يقولون هذا من عند الله then god almighty in the book of isaiah he tells his prophet isaiah that he must go about naked absolutely naked not even a g string you know that little little, little <laughs> jock straps you wear not even that no 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 he said he must go about naked for three years he must run around in front of his mother his daughter his sisters everybody he goes around and a prophet of god god almighty made him to go about naked for three years you believe that that allah bari zara does that he says in the holy quran he says pull tell them inna allah la ya'muru bil fahsha allah does not command anything shameful this is a shameful thing telling his prophet that he, this is what he must do go about naked and he commands another prophet in the book of malachi chapter 2 verse 3 he says behold i will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces you know what's dung what about human dung what do you call that this is talking about human dung not cow dung spread dung upon your faces allah will do that on your faces even the dung of your solemn feast and one shall take you away with it then ezekiel chapter 4 verse 12 says and thou shall eat it as barley cakes he's telling his prophet allah is telling his prophet to eat that thing what he's going to make now as barley cakes and thou shall bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight what you see from fresh 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 stuff not the thing that's dried up <laughs> not the dried up one what you see fresh that's come out of man that dung you must bake it with that and you must eat it who his prophet allah is telling his nabi to do that allah says inna allah la ya'muru bil fahsha allah doesn't command anything shameful 